This is KCBD News Channel 11 at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Adner is off tonight. Rosendo Rodriguez III is dead. The man who became known as the suitcase killer was executed tonight after admitting to killing 16-year-old Joanna Rogers and 29-year-old Summer Baldwin, who was pregnant when she died. Both bodies were found stuffed in suitcases in the Lubbock landfill. KCBD News Channel 11's Shaley Sanders witnessed the execution in Huntsville tonight and joins us live with reaction from the families. Shaley. Karen, both of the victims' families traveled here to Huntsville, as well as Rodriguez's family, and uh, he didn't apologize during his last words, and Rodriguez really didn't show much emotion. Before he closed his eyes, he began to sing, Here I Go. Following the execution, we had a chance to speak with both of the victims' families. Um, it's not a pleasant thing, but it's a thing that finalizes what we, the journey we've been on. Joe Bill Rogers sat next to his wife and son as the man who admitted to killing their 16-year-old daughter lie in front of him. Next to the Rogers family, Summer Baldwin's loved ones, including her mother and aunt, families who will forever be connected through these gruesome murders. And as the victim's witnesses shared a room, Rosendo Rodriguez III's loved ones sat next door as he mouthed, I love you, to those behind the glass. Rodriguez's last words included a message, but not for the victim's families. He wasn't a bit sorry. He didn't care. He's only interested in himself. And he's uh, he just a sociopath. These are Rosendo Rodriguez's last words. He asked for people to write those on death row. He calls on the FBI to launch an investigation into Lubbock County and the district attorney's office. And he calls for a boycott of Texas until the state abolishes the death penalty. He went on to say the state may have my body, but not my soul. His last words were, I have fought the good fight. I ran the race. I've accomplished what God intended me to do. Warden, I am ready to join my father. The victims' families say Rodriguez's death has not brought closure, but they are thankful to the men and women who found their daughters and the man responsible for their deaths. Everyone that was involved in this thing has done a tremendous job in being behind us and just uh, really supporting us. And we want to thank you. Shaley Sanders, KCBD, News Channel 11.